patient had undergone forceps extraction with respect to 36 hemostasis achieved irrigation done and was sent home after giving post extraction instructions however patient returned after 3 days complaining of post op pain in and around the alveolus accompanied by foul odor on examination the socket was devoid of a normal healthy post extraction blood clot pain was localized to the extraction socket which was sensitive to even gentle probing although suppuration was not evidenced a sharp pain persisted that increased with suction or mastication and lasted for several days it is common for the pain to radiate to the ear and the ipsilateral side of the head radiological studies do not show important alterations and in advanced phases rarefaction areas can be detected this post extraction complication is called as dry socket this could be due to difficult or traumatic extraction use of oral contraceptives hormonal changes tobacco consumption right after extraction inadequate intraoperatory irrigation advanced age of patients immunocompromised state extraction site being in the mandible excessive or exaggerated irrigation of the socket which can all contribute to the formation of dry socket two significant theories responsible for the pathogenesis of dry socket should be burns fibrolytic theory and bacterial theory according to burns fibrolytic theory after the extraction of a tooth an inflammatory process begins that could affect the formation and retention of the clot the fibrin would disintegrate due to the effect of kinase liberated in the inflammatory process or due to direct or indirect activation of the plasminogen which affects the stability of the clot and facilitates the development of dry socket bacterial theory comes endorsed by the existence of a high count of bacteria around the extraction site in patients who suffer from alveolar osteitis as compared to those who did not suffer from it to manage this the affected socket should be gently irrigated with 0.12% warmed chlorhexidine and all debris dislodged and aspirated intraalveolar paste consisting of zinc oxide eugenol paste anesthetic and an antibiotic preferably metronidazole can be placed they act principally by increasing the drug concentration locally diminishing their secondary effects and avoiding the entrance of remains of food to the alveolus thus protecting the exposed bone from local irritation in addition to the use of eugenol as an obturant place a strip of paste soaked surgical gauze in the socket without exerting pressure other treatment options could be topical application of an emulsion of oxytetracycline and hydrocortisone that has been shown to significantly decrease alveolar osteitis after impacted mandibular third molar removal appropriate analgesics as the nsaids are useful in managing pain when socket dressings are no longer required the patient can be instructed in home socket irrigation techniques using 0.12% chlorhexidine patient should be kept under review until they are pain free and socket healing is ensured if you have stuck with me till now i am sure you enjoyed the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel as it makes up for all the time and effort we put in to make concepts so simple and easy just for you hoping to see you in the next one until then on your marks medi study go